Take a swing at this. It's softball in Baghdad. It's traveled more than 10,000 kilometers to get here. And so did these American trainers who gave an eight-day course earlier this month in a pitch to strengthen the sport in Iraq. We brought coaches from outside the country, from the United States, because they're pioneers of the game and specialize in it. As a result, dozens of young athletes showed up to get their heads around throwing curveballs and stealing bases. We don't come here to force things on the Iraqi people. I mean, they're, they're open now, they have opportunities, and we want to give them what they want to learn. And so I think that's why baseball or softball, because they want it, so we bring it. Baseball and softball first came to Iraq eight years ago after students learned about the game from TV and the internet and decided it was their turn to go to bat. When I was following the game on TV, I could feel the team spirit and the support, the strength and the excitement. And that's what made me love this game. With only a total of 14 registered teams in less than half the country's provinces, the sport has a long way to go in Iraq. The national teams continue to play with dilapidated equipment on makeshift fields, but they hope soon that will all change. I don't consider this an American game because this is sport and is supposed to be practiced by everyone. And for that to be possible, we should be given support. Organizers hailed the training camp as a success, something that's seen as just first base from hitting a home run for the sport in the country.